Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So it would really mean a lot if you could subscribe before leaving this video. And in today's video, we're talking about iOS 15.4, which finally has been released to the public after going through five beta stages and the RC version. Of course, this is an amazing update. It brings a lot of new features and changes to iOS iOS, but amongst the big new features that it will bring to your iOS 15 device, it will also bring a lot of hidden features that not many people know about. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 hidden features that you will find on your device running iOS 15.4. And we're starting things off with Safari. So with iOS 15.4, when you go to Safari, you tap the AA button and you go to manage your extensions. You will now have a search bar right there, which will let you search for extensions and easier find the extensions that you want. Of course, search the extensions that you already have installed on your device. Another thing on Safari right here is this pop-up right here. So anytime an extension needs to actually have additional permissions, it will show you this pop-up from where you can go ahead, tap right there and review the request of that extension. And of course, allow it or not. Another really great new feature for battery. Now you won't see this, but it actually works in the background is that now optimized battery charging for your device will track your sleep with the help of your Apple Watch. So if you have an Apple Watch, it will track your sleep through your Apple Watch. That way it will help your iPhone decide when to charge your iPhone full. So if you know how optimized battery charging works, then having an Apple Watch will actually make this way, way more accurate. And of course it will be much, much better. So your iPhone will make sure that you always have your battery ready when you're ready to go under notifications there's also a new feature so if you go to notifications and you go to scheduled summary now there is a change here now we have weekly notification average now this used to be daily now you will have the weekly average right there which shows you how many notifications you get on a weekly average on each app and of course from here you can decide to put any one of these apps to the scheduled, scheduled summary if you want to, but now you will have weekly here instead of daily. And in my opinion, this is much, much better. Of course, it will represent a way more accurate number of notifications that you get from each app. Talking about notifications, there's something new on the App Store as well. When you go to the App Store app and you go to your profile, now you will have a section here for notifications. So you can enable notifications for new features and updates. In my opinion, this will be for apps that get updated, all the new features that they get and all that. And then you will also have here notifications for recommendations or offers. You can enable that as well if you want to. Now this right here is super useful as well. This is also a new feature with iOS 15.4. So you can see right here, you will get a pop-up which will ask you whether you want to download all the apps when you're updating them from the app store using seller data. Now the way it was before with iOS 15.3, you had to basically do this for every app. So let's say you have 10 updates on the app store, you tap update all, you would have to go through this pop-up for all of the apps one by one. Now with iOS 15.4, all you have to do is just tap download and you're good to go. Or of course, save them for later on Wi-Fi. There's also a change here with the notes app. When you tap the camera icon right here, now you will get a new button to scan text. Now it looks like Apple is implementing this system wide on iOS because also if you just jump to the reminders right here, try to add a new reminder, you will notice that you will now have that same here. So here you have scan text, of course, a new button that has been added to reminders with iOS 15.4. The same goes here for the email app as well. Tapping right there, you can see we have a new button right now here to scan text. So it looks like Apple is actually adding these buttons anywhere that you have the ability to quickly add text to any email reminder or note as you saw right there. Now you will have a separate button on each of these to scan text quickly. Another pretty cool new feature with iOS 15.4, the music app, if you 3D touch on it, it will show you your most recent right here. So on the 3D touch menu, you will have play most recent, tap right there, it will take you right into the music app and of course start playing your most recent song that's pretty pretty cool of course a very quick way to start playing your most recent music 
Next up, we're talking about the storage. If you go to your iPhone settings, you go to general iPhone storage, you will find now here like merged apps. So you can see we have here Apple Inc. So if you go right here, you can see it says data shared by two apps. So if you basically have different apps from the same company, they will actually show like this. You can see we have data shared by two apps, even though it doesn't show the list of apps. I think it should. Hopefully that will be done with the next update, but it will only tell you how many apps are sharing data here under one section. If you use passwords under the settings app of your iPhone, now you will be able to actually add a note to your passcode. So here I have something I have set up here, just apple.com and username and passcode right there. But I can go ahead and now add a note to this, which is, I think, very, very useful. You might add maybe like a hint or something to the passcode. So, of course, you don't forget anything that you need that is really really important so that's a really good new feature another feature right here going to settings go to siri and search and if you go to siri voice now you will have an extra new voice so we have voice five here if you choose american you will have another voice of course that you can enable simply tap on it it will start downloading and you're good to go Again, moving here to the Safari settings, if you go under your settings app, go to Safari, you will have a right here experimental, if you go advanced, experimental feature, and you will have here a lot of features that are experimental. Of course, you could enable or disable any of these. And if you if you feel like you have like configured these the wrong way, you have enabled something, maybe you didn't want to. But of course, this long list here and never know what you have enabled, what not. You can now go ahead and simply tap right here. Reset all to default and everything will be reset to default here on this list of features. Going to your settings app and going to the about section right here, we'll have the coverage section. Now with iOS 15.4, you will have this card right here, which will let you install the Apple support app directly from here. If you don't have it, of course, if you have this app and you need help, of course, when you go to see your coverage, you can simply go ahead and open the app from here. And in my opinion, the best hidden feature of iOS 15.4 is the ability to now update your device using cellular data. I don't know why Apple didn't mention this feature. It is a really great feature. You can completely update your device using cellular data, or you can start updating, let's say on Wi-Fi, and then continue on on cellular data. This is a much, much needed feature for a lot, a lot of people. So a lot of people will find this useful and Finally, it is here with iOS 15.4 and it is an amazing feature to have. Going to your settings app and under the notifications section, you will see now tracking notifications right here. So these have been moved from the Find My and now you will have them right here. Of course, you can configure these directly from here, all the tracking notifications and you even have a new glyph right there. There are new features on the Apple Watch app as well. So open the Apple Watch app and go to mail right here. What you will find is mirror my iPhone or choose custom right there. But if you enable mirror my iPhone, you will also have a new feature called high IP address. So this now will mirror to your Apple Watch as well. So the IP address will be hidden even from emails from your Apple Watch, which is really, really cool. And you will have another new feature right here called always load content directly. So it will always load content directly into your Apple Watch. And that's pretty useful as well. And if you use Apple Music, when you go to one of your playlists, now you will see the playlist title at the top or right there and it will be sticky. It won't be removed at all. That's of course only on playlists created on Apple Music. Also on the news here, if you go to the news and you go to the audio section, make sure you go ahead and scroll all the way down. You will find right here a new section for and also on the news app, if you go to the audio section and scroll down here, you will find more to explore and you can see here everything that you can now explore all like the different sections you can go ahead and explore from here on the Apple News. So that's basically for this video, guys. These are more than 20 new hidden features you will be able to find on your device once you update it to iOS 15.4. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe for more iOS 15.4 videos. And I'll see you on the next one.